Hello. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Richard. What's yours? Richard, my name's Ashley. Oh, pleased to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. How long have you been learning English? I have been studying on Cambly for four months, but I have been studying English for two years. Yes, I two think. years. Yes, to be more specific, it's, I think, one year and nine months. Good. Yeah, you yeah. speak very well. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm working hard on my English, you know, because next year I'd like to to visit your country, you know, the United States. <laughs> Where would you like to visit? Oh, there are a lot of places, especially Los Angeles, New York, Washington, D.C., and Boston. Yes. Those are all, yeah, very... Yeah. Have you ever been? Hot, hot topic places. So I'm from Texas. Do you know where that's at? Yes, Texas. I think I talked to a teacher from there before. Really? Yes. How is it like? Do you like to go to rodeos and cowboy things? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I I live in Houston. So Houston's a big city. Oh, you can but we do people. have the rodeo downtown every year. But... It's very city. It's it's a city like oh, lifestyle okay. here. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. For example, if I go to Hillstone, what can I do there? There. <laughs> oh, so we have a lot of really cool, uh, like little bars and food places. We like food here, so uh, we have really awesome, not regular bars that you 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 know walk in and it's just a regular bar we'll have like this one place i like to go to and it has a whole bunch of food trucks oh, and nice. it's like maybe 30 food trucks and you can try all different kinds of uh food and they have big picnic tables and people bring their dogs and oh. and stuff like that but yeah so oh gosh, i love eating you know <laughs> <laughs> me too where are you from I am from Brazil. I live in Sao Paulo. Have you ever oh, heard about awesome. Sao Paulo? San Paulo? How? It's the biggest city here in Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah. I had one other person from Brazil I spoke to. Oh, I don't know where from Brazil he was from. Mm. But he said that, uh, I said, what was his favorite place, uh, his favorite thing about Brazil? He said, eating. <laughs> so you like eating and he likes eating. <laughs> yes, we Brazilians love eating barbecue. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> oh yeah, barbecue is huge here. Really? Oh, that's a yeah, big... it's a big, big deal. Yes, in Brazil we have to eat it every weekend. You know, it's it's the norm here. <laughs> oh, that's good. Then I would like to go there. <laughs> yes. What what do you do you know about Brazil? I don't know anything about Brazil. When I think of Brazil, I think of like dancing. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> Have you ever heard about can uh, carnival? Uh uh. Carnival. It's our biggest party here in Brazil. It's in sometimes in February, sometimes in March. So it, it's amazing, you know, if you like to, to dance and do a lot of things, that's the, the date to come to Brazil. <laughs> but I think um, it's really expensive, you know. Yeah, well, my birthday is in February, so one year I will have to go for my birthday. I'll be oh, there. Yes, that's amazing. Uh, how, how many languages do you speak? Languages do I speak? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, so obviously English is my first language and I'm learning Spanish. I would like to become fluent in Spanish. Um, but I've only been practicing Spanish maybe, uh, maybe like a year or a year and a half. So I'm not very good at it yet. Do, uh, did you take classes in high school in Spanish? No. So here speaking a second language is kind of like an elective it's not very mandatory so i didn't take any classes in school but um i guess i just practice on my own i buy books or i like to listen to a lot of music in spanish and i practice speaking with some people that i work with because a lot of people speak spanish here a lot so oh, that's amazing yeah. you know I, I speak portuguese it's my first language and mm -hmm. i 
English, English, no, Portuguese and Spanish, uh, they are really similar, you know? So, for example, if you speak with me in Spanish, I can understand, but I can't talk. You know? <laughs> no, I, that makes sense. Um, I talked to a, a girl who lives in, um, I will have to look very quick where she lives. Is it in Brazil? You, you will be, yeah, you will be familiar with it. Um, but so she writes, but she has a translator. So because she can't write in English. So she writes in her language. And then so I have her letter in her language and then I have the letter translated. And I did notice that a lot of words are very similar to Spanish, but exactly. sometimes different. For so. example, uh, let me see a word. I think like uh, I think like cat. I think she told me that she has a cat, and I think cat is a similar. But it's with a G, right? Yeah. Yeah, and in Spanish, it's gato with a C. It's written like that. <laughs> but in Spanish, let me see. Uh oh, oh wait. Okay, let me see. I'm looking where she lives. Uh -huh. For example, I, stu I studied English with my cousin, but he g gave up, and I I move on studying English, you know? <laughs> he gave up? Yeah, because you know, in, uh, in the beginning, it's really hard you know, to, to learn how to, to speak and a lot of grammar stuff, you know? But... I think we we only need to to study every day, you know, to practice. And I think the the main thing is to to love it. You know, for example, when I started learning English, I, I realized how much I love it. You know, so that's amazing. And I realized that when I talked to a person from Vietnam, and I had uh, such a good conversation with him, and it was amazing. It motivated me. And now I can work on my English every day and learn more and more. You, know? <laughs> you speak very well. It's very easy to have a conversation with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank so you. your practicing is paying off. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> so what is something that you struggle with? I think I struggle with preposition training. Have you ever heard about it? Prepositions? Preposition is trending, I think it's called. Uh, for example, let me tell you a sentence. Mm. Ah, who am I talking with? For example, the with at the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dang I dangling prepositions. Exactly, when, I, when they are at the end of a sentence. You know, uh -huh. sometimes I don't put it. For example, uh, when do you want to talk to? For example, I don't uh -huh. put it to at the end sometimes. So I am working every day on it. <laughs> That's okay. So dangling prepositions, you will only hear that with conversations like between you and me or um, friend or something that's more, uh, I guess, lenient or laid back. The only time that you have to worry about not doing dangling prepositions is whenever you're doing like a professional paper or you're typing an email for work or something more professional. So I wouldn't worry too much about dangling prepositions because it's just uh, basically proper versus improper. But when people speak like regular conversation, yes, we put a lot of prepositions at the end of our sentences. For example, if I, uh, if I ask you, who am I speaking? Will you understand? Who am I yes. speaking? Yes. No. Or, or I have to say, who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? Yeah. Mm, yes. Who That's are it. you speaking with or who are you speaking to? Mm, I see. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's hard, but I think I can improve it. <laughs> yeah. But do you guys, native speakers, make mistakes in English? Oh, of course. 
all How, the time. Uh, what are the, the most common mistakes in English that you really heard here? With native speakers or with um, people who are learning English? Uh, with native speakers. With native speakers. I think we use a lot of slang. So, for example, um, the word kids versus the word children. So whenever you're, like I said, in school and you're writing a paper or you're trying to be professional, the word kids, that's a slang word. Kids is actually uh, like a baby goat. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the, if you look it up in the dictionary, it means that's what it means. But we use it to talk about kids, children, like, oh, I have three kids or, you know, that's mm -hmm. how we say And, but that's wrong. The correct word is child or children, like child for one and children for multiple. So I think we use a lot of slang words like that um, so often that we don't realize anymore that it's not correct, that it's, it's slang. Mm, but I, I think, think it's the same way with any language, really. Yeah, for example, but we Brazilians make mistakes where we use the slangs. I think it's not... It, it's informal, but it's not so wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's when, for example, with a verb, for example, the verb to eat, I say, I eat. And with the third person, I have to say, for example, he eats, right? He mm -hmm. eats. Uh, do, you, do native speakers make the, this mistake? For example, he eat? No. No? Mm -mm. Ah, I see, I see. He eat? No. Mm -mm. Mm. No, that's... You would say he eats. Mm, it, Or mm. he he eats, like... Um, if you're speaking about somebody, like, oh, he eats a lot of junk food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, if you're speaking about somebody else. If you're talking about him and he's right here next to you, like, oh, he's eating. Mm, uh -huh. Or if you're talking about him uh, in the past, he ate. Is it really uh, basic, right? For yes. example, sometimes here in Brazil, a lot of people make, for example, this basic mistake. For example, didn't you hear this mistake any time in your entire life? Any time I'm what? Didn't you hear the, the, that mistake in your life? For example, he eat. Any, any English, any native speaker make, make this mistake? No. Oh. Mm, I see. It's completely different. Okay. Yeah. That's more of a mistake that somebody learning English would make, but nobody would probably correct you. They would, uh, they would completely understand what you're talking about. And it, it, I don't think it would bother anybody. They would understand, but it's not a, it's not a common native. Um, mm, I see. You know, I'm working. I'm working on my expressions and my slangs as well. For example, yeah. I learned a lot of slangs. Let me remember. It's hard to remember when we really want, you know. But when I'm uh, when I'm talking, I remember and I use. So, so uh, here's a common one that natives make that I don't think a lot of people understand the difference. Okay, okay. Um, nobody versus somebody versus anybody. Okay, those three words. Nobody, somebody, anybody. Uh, those yeah. are all three completely different. You will use those words in different times, but we all use them no matter what. Let like, me the right sentence. For example, uh, yes, I, I can. <laughs> oh, and someone. <laughs> Here, there's another one, someone. Okay, for example, can someone give me a pencil? Okay. Can somebody give me a pencil? Is it, uh -huh. is it the same? It's not the same, but nobody understands which one is correct. <laughs> Does that make sense? That, yeah. that is a mistake that native speakers do all the time and nobody really... I see. Understands the difference. Oh, oh the time went so fast. Yeah. Could you please write the difference between those <laughs> those words? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will send you some information and I'll send you a message for next time we talk. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> yeah. You too. Bye bye.
Det här var goodnight. Bye.